Meantime, Indiana lawmakers are divided here on how to respond to this violence last night and, and what to consider at the State House as a result. Kristen Eskow here with us now to talk about what lawmakers are saying about this and about how to prevent violence like this from happening in the future. Well, and Dan, the timing's very interesting because Indiana lawmakers will be back at the State House a week from now for their special session focused on abortion restrictions and inflation relief. Gun legislation isn't on the agenda, but at least one lawmaker wants that to change. It doesn't have to be this way. Democratic State Representative Mitch Gore represents Beach Grove, where four people were shot in a park hours after the Greenwood Park Mall shooting. Gore says he wants to start a conversation at the State House on gun violence by proposing legislation that sets storage requirements for firearms in homes. If we could get the ball rolling with this piece of legislation that won't be the answer to all of these issues but will be a really good first step, then we get the public on board and maybe we can build upon that. Gore and other Democrats have been critical of Indiana gun laws. Most recently, the permitless carry legislation that took effect less than three weeks ago. It allows most Hoosiers age 18 and older to carry a handgun without a permit. You can believe in both things. You can believe people should be able to carry uh, guns lawfully after going through a certain number of reasonable steps and think that we have to do more to protect people uh, out in public. Authorities say the armed bystander who stopped the Greenwood shooter was carrying his gun legally under Indiana's permitless carry law. Many Republicans argue Indiana gun laws aren't the problem. I think our gun laws are okay. I don't know how the gun laws would have uh, contributed uh, to either of the shootings over the weekend, quite frankly. Republican State Senator Jack Sandlin, another lawmaker on Indy's South Side, says he's always open to discussing potential changes to prevent future mass shootings. He believes the laws currently on the books do a good job of allowing Hoosiers to defend themselves. We have people that are lawfully carrying firearms that are creating no harm but want to have the right to self-defense. Now, the Indiana legislature holds a Republican supermajority, so Republicans would need to be on board for any proposal to pass. So far, there's no indication Republicans will put any legislation forward on this issue following Sunday's shootings. Now, we did reach out to Republican legislative leaders for this story and are still waiting to hear back. Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. All right, Kristen, thanks so much.